guys i'm back for another video today i hope you're all well oh, i just need to adjust my camera a little bit hope you're all well um i am back with a little bit of a lush kitchen haul now most of these are um from the lush kitchen which if you know um they put a different thing on every day monday to friday and you can buy it until it's sold out and today i actually purchased a twilight shower gel which i'm really excited about in the 250 grams so over the last few weeks I've been getting some of these are not lush uh, kitchen items are just stuff that I picked up because I really really wanted to try them um, so let's just delve right in so the first thing I picked up because I had a sample of this was this here oh this smells so nice it is excuse me a big lush big shampoo now this is a sea salt shampoo for you to have a big hair day oh god even though i have the biggest hair in the whole world this does it a lot of good it can go quite flat my hair after i straightened it so this gives it a lot more keeps it like voluminous don't see if it's made from just pure sea salt and it really scrubs your scalp as opposed to just kind of oh washing your hair it's really foamy you don't need a lot of it i always put too much on and it ends up like dripping down my shoulders and things so just tip you only need a little bit of this um and i highly 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 recommend it um yeah and this lasts about a year so fantastic that's my first thing um my second thing is i picked up this lush it's called mechanic soap now i think this is made for people who um do like greasy jobs and things like that and um i think you need to get like the oil and things like that off their hands so this is what i think it's essentially made for but i use this as a body scrub it is really 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 effective it's got all that little gritty grains in it and um oh the main reason that i bought it so I'm getting ready for that time of year now we're coming up is it smells it's got a snow fairy scent um and it really does smell that really strong of it it's so nice to have a product I know a lot of people don't like it they find it very sweet and very sickly but I am a massive huge humongous fan of snow fairy I'm so glad we got a product just an all year all round one that we can have all the time that smells good because I do miss the smell a lot so that's my second thing that I bought really effective as a body scrub very scrubby and for any of those grease monkeys out there who do you know mechanical kind of jobs where they get oil on their hands or gardeners or anything like that so what's next let's have a look next thing I picked up was this it's huge this is the maypole soap now this smells like are they called maypoles are they it's just like the first scent i get off this is mint <coughs> excuse me but it also says it has maple syrup in it now i can't smell the maple syrup in it at all but it does have like a creamy sort of undertone where you can smell there's definitely something like like creamy or toffee-ish with it but it doesn't smell of maple syrup what you can smell it just smells of those minto sweets we used to get from our granddad when we were kids which is really nice um okay the next thing oh the next thing hang on the reason that i bought it is because i really wanted to get this which has never been made by the kitchen before it's never come out before it's a brand new product and it is i'm getting there the maypole body lotion now this does smell exactly like the soap but it's a very 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 light smell it's not anywhere near as kind of strong as the soap. It has a nice moisture. It's a very, very light lotion. And it sinks into the skin really, really well. 
because I've had the one other one that I'm going to show you that I had this is nice and moisturizing but the other one I had was really disappointed about it kind of just had a smell as opposed to actually doing anything to my skin it's just like putting water on my skin so this one's really good if this comes up in the kitchen again I think it's sold out now but if it comes out on the kitchen again I highly recommend it if you're a mint lover if you're not well then don't <laughs> obviously um so next thing sticking on the mint theme that I picked up from the Lush kitchen was this which is oh it smells so good it smells completely different it's got this is the ice hotel bubble bar so this contain it says check into the ice hotel and check out into a soothing pepperminty bliss crumble under running water and sink into blissful bubbles with grounding lavender to help you forget your troubles ah cream of tartar yeah spearmint this is a beautiful bubble bar I'm saving a lot of these things, these are minty, so to me they're quite Christmassy kind of smelling things. So I'm saving them for kind of like more the autumn winter time, because I feel like that's when, oh, mind you it's like that now isn't it? That's when I'd be more likely to use things like this. So next thing, another thing to do with that is... The Lord of Misrule Shower Gel. Now I've heard a lot about this. I've never had the um, bath bomb either. Oh, that smells really, really nice. I don't know what on earth is in that, but it's beautiful. What is it? Is it patchouli, I wonder? Patchouli, hot spices and frothy revelry. This is a shower cream, which I'm not that keen on. They're a bit painty. But I do really like them. This smells absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's very, very strong. I can't imagine that you'd need anything else to kind of, like, say, moisturise or anything. You could, you just want to smell this. I think they do actually do a body conditioner of it sometimes. That's gorgeous. I really like that. And then... Ghost shower gel. Now... This smells nothing like I thought it was going to. It's extremely floral. To a point I don't know if I like it. Like, it's okay. I don't know what it's got in it. Arachne, no, arcane. <laughs> Arachne, sounds like spider. Arcane florals of Ilang Alang and Jasmine Absolute. <coughs> Sorry, I could <coughs> Oh, I do apologise. I've had golf or hay fever today. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I've got to say, this is the one product I've waited for about five years to have. Because they don't sell it. And every time it comes out on the Lush Kitchen, I seem to miss it. I was so excited to get it. But I've got to be honest, I'm a little bit... Nah. It's very runny as well. It's very, very thin for a shower gel. As opposed to this Lord and Miss Rule, which is like really, really thick. So there you go. But I've only got a little one of these. I think I'm going to have to invest in a bigger one before uh, before the year is out. So, what's next? Oh, I'm going to just stick on this theme. Oh, hang on. My, my bath bomb's rolling off. This is Chris Dingle Body Conditioner. Oh, look at that. Now, I'm saving this for the winter, but I couldn't help but use it. I just had to use it just once. Um, and it's a huge pot as well. It is... 240 grams. So you get a lot in there. You get quite a lot of bang for your buck with this because it's not cheap. Um, a breath of crispy mint fresh air for the body with creamy muru muru. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And shea butter to leave you beautifully softened. And it is so pretty. If nothing else, it's pretty. It's like a beautiful sort of turquoisey colour. I really like it. When you put it on, it leaves you quite sticky because you put it on and then you rinse it off like you do with the body conditioners um, in the shower. And it left me feeling very sticky, quite like the Rose Argan used to, like before they reformulated it. And um, But when I dried myself, I just felt lovely and soft. There was none of that horrible, like sticky, thick residue left on me. It was really nice. I really liked it. 
Now, coming up to this one, this baby. I was so excited about this. It's the Fizz Body Lotion. This has got the same scent as the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub, which is one of my favourite smells. It just, to me, it says it's gorse flowers, but to me it just smells like Play-Doh. It smells beautiful, but I didn't find it did anything remotely for my skin. I found it a very, very disappointing product. Um, it was just like putting water on my skin. It didn't feel like it moisturised it or anything at all. Um, it says it's got cocoa butter in it. Um, it's reminiscent of country walks, sunny country walks. Woody Momos are absolute calm soothes and whisks worries away on a coconut scented breeze, which is just lovely. But it doesn't do much for my skin, but it does make me smell really nice, so there you go. So, last kitchen item I got was the Tennis Ball Bath Bomb. This is another thing I am saving for winter because this shares its scent with a magic wand and Angel's Delight soap. So I was really, really excited to have this and I'm waiting until I get, hopefully the magic wand will come back out again this year. So I'm hoping to mix it up with this. So then I got three little um, samples. I got a daddy -O shampoo. Go in. I got Cynthia Sylvia Stout shampoo and a reformulated rose argan body conditioner so i was happy about that and then another couple of things i'm going to put onto the end so i have got three of these is aldi's have brought out their own version of joe malone candles mm. these are so nice these are retailing at the moment for 3.99 so i have got the blackberry bay one lime basil and mandarin and Granite Noir. These smell exactly the same as the Jo Malone candles. Given they don't give the same scent off when you burn them, I wouldn't say it's not as strong, but it is really nice. And for the price tag of three ninety nine, I don't think you can go wrong. So I was actually show you here. They got a double wick in them, like that. So this one is number two. Which is Blackberry Bay. This is number three, which is Pomegranate Noir. And then I've got the other one downstairs, which is a lime basil and mandarin, which I've been burning already, which I really like. So, top tip for you get on down to Aldi. That's it for my little haul today. Hope you have a good day. See you later.